Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. <laughs> okay, so why do you like Chuka? Is it because his father is the chairman of the local government and he brings him to school with Kai? Big, big cars. No, ha, no, that's not the reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Nene? Yes. Which of the boys do you have eyes for? You're very secretive. You don't used to tell us anything. I don't have eyes for anybody. Ha. Wait, are you going to marry a girl? Well, wait and see. Hey, Nene, this strange girl. You can say that again. She's not even talking to us again. Because you both are slow and I need to get to somewhere before I get home. I, I said it. Hey. This girl, she has a secret boyfriend. I, you don't want to tell the story to you. have a secret I boyfriend. I don't have any secret boyfriend. I don't hey, have. Hey, Nene. So where are you rushing to? Where are you going I need to? I to get to somewhere. Nene, wait to. Don't go and get pregnant today. We'll send you out of the school. I should be the one telling you. You better watch it with Chuka. And you, watch it with Kenny. Look at the person saying we better not watch this. Watch it with Chuka. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, what kept you so long now? I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry. Ah. Sorry. This is not how we work. Oh. I have to keep to time. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's okay. This is a picture. Thank you. Okay. All right. Is your money? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right now. I'm not a small boy. Everybody knows me in this village because I do fail my exams and I repeat SS3. At least I'm 24 years old. Madam Joy, huh? am I a small boy? No, now. A 24 year old boy is old enough to get married, right? So tell me, why would the teacher treat me like a small boy? He flogged me on my buttons. Does he know how I feed? or even pay my school fees. Even if I wake up early, I have to predict my football betting before I go to school. And that is how I pay my school fees and fee. I'll never forgive the judge now. If I ever forgive him, then that means my name is not Abraham, father of one nation. I mean, farm wine and goat meat is, is very good for relaxation. I agree. But you need to know when not to overdo it so that you can set good examples for your students. Yes. You know, babe, that was why I said that we should always buy and take it home. That way, even if we get drunk, nobody will know. We won't be setting bad examples mm. for anyone. V, v, v. <laughs> Fine girl like you that is always drinking. Jeez. Don't like it. I mean, it's scary. Very, very scary. I mean, one day you can just go and walk in front of a moving vehicle. You know, I'm, and I'm worried about that. Baby, did you just say that? Say God forbid. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, <sighs> God forbid. God say forbid. God forbid that such a thing will happen to the girl I love so much. God forbid, and I take back everything that I said out of fear. <laughs> now give me a bit. <laughs> So let's go. So we're taking it to my house, right? Yes. If you see teacher Ozo, what will you do to him? Eh, hey, Madam Joy, I will slap him. I will walk up to him. I will slap him. Twice, twice. Front, back, center. Even me to say. Uh, and he will just be watching you. Hmm? He will just be watching you. Ah, you get now. Me? I will just walk up to him, eh? Don't worry. This is what I will do to him. Madam Joy, Madam, Madam, how are you? Mrs. Amin, I'm fine. Mrs. Amin. Um, Madam Joy, 
please give me three bottles of palm wine and goat meat pepper soup and please package it we're taking it out wow you're welcome you know the price right are we not your customers of course you are <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the, the boy you flogged at school today? He's a what? He's as stubborn as a he goat. Yeah. Is he supposed to be drinking that much? After school hours, they can do whatever they like, but I'm going to report this to the principal. Yes, please do. He needs to be disciplined. The palm wine and pepper soup is ready. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. How much? Two thousand naira. Oh, okay, that's good. wow. Women are changing the narratives these days. <laughs> <laughs> they are paying the bills. Don't mind you. It's my Thank baby's you. money. Ooh. I'm just helping him spend it. Thank you. <laughs> the talk that is talk behind the back of a lion. Is that not what he be saying all day? Well, I have my plans. My love, how much I love you. I cannot wait to be your wife. I cannot wait to tell you how much I love you. When I'm talking with my friends, they ask me about the boy in my life. But I do not have a boy. I have a man. A man that is all inside my heart. What am I going to do? What am I going to do for you to notice me? For you to notice me in that school. But you only notice students that are in trouble. Should I get in trouble for you to notice me? But my mother is going to be very angry with me because I'm a good girl. Let's go to bed, my dear one. Also, my love, I want you to tell me a bedtime story. I love love stories. Tell me about Sod Maleficent. It's going to make me scared. And I'll crawl right into your arms and you'll cuddle me. <laughs> Look at the way you make me giggle. <laughs> Um, um, I was praying. I was saying my prayers. Saying your prayers with laughter. Yes, Mama. I was remembering all the good things from my creator and it made me so happy. Mm. He's really good. Yes, Mama. He is so good. And it's so great how he makes us feel happy. That's nice. Praise be to the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. All right, dear. Mm? Good night. Okay, Mama. Have a good night's sleep. All right. Good night, Mama. Good night, my dear. I did not lie in my creator's name, did I? I said it makes me happy in a certain way that I feel. That is love. 
the love I have for you, Zemana, it makes me so happy. My beautiful. Too much to just My Vera. <laughs> ah. My baby. Mm, mm, How are mm, you? Mm, look at you. <laughs> Looking all sexy. Hey, you can say that again. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, baby. A govimu. Mm. Chocolate napkin. Oh, mm. monane. Mm. Chocolate bread. <laughs> Chocolate oh, everything. Oh, mm. Okay, my kwam bekem bekem. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> My baby, oh that I'm me chum, eh? Uke chakana lisia, uka na mo samma. Ine uke uke skin no bokwa no kwa eh on touch. Glass, glass skin. My baby, do you know what I have in here? Your heart. More than my heart. Tell me. I brought a karaoke with a cam, pop, eh? By the time you're done taking it, I'll have the energy to flog those mischievous oh, but, but children. Eh? You will give them back to back. Mm -hmm. eh? Hot one. <laughs> they will know that I ate good food. Of course, made by your own baby. Mm. Your baby not well. Mm. Eh? Not me now. Mm. Eh? Mm. My baby, come. Let's go inside. My delicious. Oh, my let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come inside. Come inside. Okay, my baby. Just all yours. Yes, all sir. yours. <laughs> Then act like you're fine then. How am I acting? Like a woman scolded by her husband. The last time I checked, I don't have a husband. Maybe a secret lover. Do you not know that I don't have a secret lover? Do you have a secret lover? Are you hiding something? I'm not hiding anything, okay? You guys, let's hurry before we get into trouble with the punctuality teacher. She always rushes to something. No, so always rushing. Uh -uh. Hurry to where? Where are you going to? Which trouble? I ain't the only one that likes getting into trouble. I don't like it. Hey! That's him. Let's go before we get into trouble. Let's go before 8 a.m. Boys, are we clear? Yes. We'll go to his house in the evening and bust him. No. We don't need to go to his house. We'll wait for him along the road and beat him up. We cover our face. Even if he sees us, we have no proof to. Yes. But you said you will go to his house in the evening and use woman voice to make him open the door. Woman voice? Yes, now. We'll talk like that of his copper girlfriend, Vera. And when he opens the door, we'll drag him out and beat him very well. Mm -mm -mm, that is too risky. Ha! That is too risky. No, 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 no. That is too risky. See, my suggestion is this. Eh? We, will, we will wait for him at that epa. That place you know my clothes. We'll wait for him there. Eh? Maybe you come out. Boom! We'll flog him. 24 latches, I ain't got pair of shake. 24 latches will flog him very well. Eh? That is more, that is the best. Okay, you have sense. Mm -hmm. Don't mind him. I'm talking about new plan. I still bring in the old plan. See? Okay. That is the best. That is the best. Like, ha. Now, nah, without this in this. Don't worry, go away. I'll see you later. Oh? Okay, bye. Bye. Nene, are, are you okay? I mean. All your friends are having fun because it's bedtime and you're here. All alone. Did you get rejected by that your secret boyfriend? What is wrong? Do you 
know how to fight? Hmm? Do, do I know how to fight? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you know how to fight with boys? Mm. Yes, I, I used to fight with my brothers. You know I have just brothers. Yes, yes. Okay. We're going to fight tomorrow. With boys. Eh? Eh? <laughs> no, no. See, Nene. I fight with my brothers. That is because they are my brothers. And they will not hit me so hard. Why, why are we fighting boys? Which boys? Never mind. Why am I even telling you? Why am I even waiting to you tomorrow? I'm going to do it now. And I don't need your help. No, 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 you're going to. Don't worry. Who did you say you're going to be? Abraham. I'm going to leave Leave your way for what? I am asking you, Abraham. I'm who did you say you will beat up? <laughs> I'm going to leave I'll beat you. You beat me. 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 Get off! Get off from there! Get off from there! I tell you, will you get off from there? Get off! Get off! Get off! Hey! Come here! Come here! What kind of nonsense is this? What sort of indiscipline is this? You! What is amiss with both of you? I live there the mad girl. Hey, you say, what did you say? Did you say you heard it all? You heard it all? Are you stupid? Are you a Nikon poo? I'm here with a kid. Sorry, sir. Yes? Speak. I was on my way going home. She attacked me. Can I ask my friends? It's a lie. It's true. And you, I saw you attack him with so much anger. Did this he go to do anything to warrant your, your yeah. anger towards him? Speak so I can punish this man, this buffoonery, because I know him, I know his history. I feel I'm talking to you. Did he do anything to warrant your anger? So I can punish him for that. What did he do? Are you ignoring me? Young lady. Oh, I think I understand your type now. Hmm. Okay, I see what is happening here. I'm asking you a question. And you are ignoring me. Good. Kneel down. You go. You go. Bring your hand. I can't bring. You want me to close? Bring your hand. Bring. Give me your hand. 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 Bring your hand. Bring your hand. I said, bring out your hand. against me. 
and their ego is so powerful. He uses Juju to protect his people. You don't know these people. Baby, let's just be positive. Yes, let's just be positive. I believe that God will make everything work out well. I was fighting for us all. Yeah. I was fighting for his life. I was fighting to save him. How can the one I was fighting for be the one to hurt me? Nene, it's the Josemena you are fighting for. How? Why? I don't understand. Abraham and his friends, they were planning to block him at the lonely road. I saw them discussing. I know Abraham is bad. So I hid myself to listen to their conversation. They were planning to block him and flog him for flogging Abraham. Okay, Nene. Why did you go straight to the teacher? Why take matters into your hands? Why? Because... Because I'm always tongue-tied whenever I see teacher also. Why? Are you scared of him? I'm not scared. I love him. Hmm? He's the one I love secretly. Ah. He's the love I've hidden in my heart. Nene! Ah. Hmm. Ah. Ah. He was fighting for love. But the love I was fighting for did not protect me. It's dead. He has made me blind on my one eye. We don't know that for sure, okay? We don't. Exactly what I'm about to say. Wait till the doctor says so. I know how I feel. I know the pain I feel in my eyes. They say love is blind. Maybe this is the blindness they were talking about. Nene, stop crying. I can go and blind his eye if he wants me to. Two of his eyes. Two of I'll just blind them. No, please stop it. Ah. Stop. It, it's okay. Nene, sorry, it's okay. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you, my daughter. Oh. Madam Alice, uh, uh, yeah. please calm down, okay? Calm down. Let us see her first and ascertain the situation. You said you calm down. John, <laughs> you are asking me to calm down. If you are to be your daughter, will you calm down? If it's your own daughter, John, will you calm down? Madam My daughter, Alice, Nene? That is why Digwe sent me here to calm you down. Ascertain the real situation and report back to him in council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my daughter Nene has become a report. To get a report about my daughter Nene. Hey, I'm at your house. I'm at your house. My daughter can never think? be a report. Well, call, you get it I'm here. at your house. I'm at your house. My daughter can be a report. It's not what you think, madam. Where is my daughter Nene? Where is my daughter Nene? Where is she? Where is my daughter Nene? Hey, 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 we get teacher. Come here, he come and kill me. Kill me today. What did you will kill me? You blinded my daughter's eyes. You blind my own eyes today. You did not see anywhere else to cross my daughter's eyes. You will kill me. Mama, mommy. Mama, because you're an old. Just calm down, please. Eh? This is no time for this. Let's just concentrate on. Come on, will you leave me? You guys are idiots. Who are you that is talking to me? Why will you talk to me? Is it your eye that is blocked? Is it your eyes? Bring it to us. Oh, you're blocking it out. Bring it out. Let us block it out. Madam. Sacrifice your eye to this, your physical. 
that? You are telling me nonsense. My beautiful daughter, you blind her eyes. You have killed me. Madam, please. Please. I'm sorry for everything. If there's anything I can do right now to make you feel better, I will do it. I am sorry, please. It was a mistake. Okay. You want to make me feel better, right? Can you make my daughter feel better? Can you replace my daughter's eye? I ask you. Can you replace her eyes? Hi! Hey, people have killed me. Madam, I will sacrifice my salary for as long as it takes to give her the best medical condition to fix her eyes. You are a fool. You are a mad man. Do you think I care about your salary? What is your salary worth? What is your salary worth, you useless idiot? <laughs> I will make you pay. You will pay dearly for what you did to my daughter, I swear to you. Enough! Okay, baby. What is it? I got up, brother, up, bro. Why are you why are you shouting at him? I said, why are you shouting at him? Is it his fault? It's your daughter's fault. Your daughter went to school to study, but then she went there to be fighting. You should have disciplined your daughter enough to know that she should Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Shut up! You are mad! You are to go and fight! You are mad! Why will you say that to me? Look at this useless idiot! Look at this idiot! You blinded my daughter's eyes. And you have a god to open this god and you call him out. Turn down, fire you. May the ancestors sell your mouth. Spark to send that. Useless idiot. Spark to send that to you and your family. Spark to send that. It will never be well with you. And you, it will never be well with sorry, you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, God. They have finished me, my only daughter. I'm sorry, my only beautiful daughter. I'm sorry, oh, God of mercy. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> you are there. You are watching. And this useless girl is insulting me after blinding my daughter's eyes. You are there watching. The worst thing that's even happened me that was even attacked by Nene. I don't do anything to her because she's a girl. But this wicked teacher, they want to kill the force in this village. Come with his skin to commit havoc. Shut up your mouth. You shut up your mouth. I said, shut up your mouth. Are you girl? Are you crazy? Imagine. <laughs> 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 All of a sudden, a dog is barking because the lion is in chain, right? I don't blame you. You went to school to study. So what did you study? Nothing. You keep repeating class. You should be ashamed of yourself and not yet talking. <laughs> They have more to talk. <laughs> when my daughter is in pain. You people are still talking when my daughter is in pain. You have the man to talk, your fellow girl. Oh God, we judge you people. <laughs> if she's going to continue to attack me, then I have nothing else here to do. I've offered all the solutions I can. If the Igwe wants my head or my neck, let me know. I'll provide it. But until then, I'm going home. V, let's go. You see? They are walking out. They are walking out after blinding my daughter's eyes. Even cockroaches can talk in this town, right? God will punish you. You see what I'm talking about? He's very arrogant. John, have you seen it? They walked out. After blinding my daughter's eyes, you want them to go. Hey, I'm a dual. Don't allow this to happen to my daughter. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter that went to school this morning with her two eyes intact. Now with a bandage. And how can I see you like this? It will never be well with that teacher, Amen. It will never, it will never be well with him. Amen. He will suffer. Amen. He will suffer. Amen. Our oh, mother how we strike him there. Amen. For putting him in this condition. Amen. That man will suffer. He will build a house and no man will live in it. Amen. He will suffer. Mama. No, that man will suffer. Look at what he did to you now. Look at what he did to you. He will never know peace in this is life. Amen. Mama, Mama, stop. I should stop. After a man did this to my only daughter, eh? Are you thinking about yourself? Just look at you, take a look at you. That man will never see good again in this his life. Amen. Mama, please stop. I'm feeling pains. I'm feeling pains. But the pain I'm feeling is not from my eyes. 
No nice from your words. Look at the way you're cussing him. Look at how you're cussing a human being. No man, you're not a Christian mother. Look at this girl, look. Yeah. Somebody put you in this condition, you say I'm cussing him. I am a Christian mother. I know I'm a Christian mother, but when a Christian mother's heart is broken, she will be pain and just sorrow. Stop. Please, just stop cursing me. Please. Okay. I will stop cursing him. I will stop. Ah. How are you now? Eh? How are you feeling? Please, what did the doctor say? Have they been here? What did the doctor say? I hope it's not as bad as they are saying, you no. Know. I hope it's not as bad as that. My only daughter cannot go blind, though. My only daughter cannot go blind. this change anything if you never drink water again? Will it bring that girl's eyes back? No. Do you think I am wicked? But if you spare the rod, you will spoil the child. You will destroy the child. I just, I just, uh, do you think I am wicked? Do no, you? you're not wicked. Never. I know you. I know your heart. Whatever it is, just know that we're in this together, please. I just wanted to instill discipline. I just wanted to instill and inculcate discipline into this to these children. That's how I was raised. My mother did not spare the rod. And that's how I turned out to be super focused. I just wanted to inculcate values or discipline. I mean, these children call me wicked. Wicked because I demand that they are disciplined, that they do their homeworks, that they obey school rules, My love, it's all right. Stop talking. It's sad. It's just sad. It's just very sad. Come here. Doctor, how about our injured daughter of this community? I hope uh, she can make use of that eye again. 
because I will not take it lightly with that teacher if that innocent girl ends up losing one of her eyes. Igwe! Igwe! Alice, how are you? Please sit. How are you? Igwe, you have seen me. I'm watching, waiting to see what my God will bring to me. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I will handle the matter personally. And uh, we will try and do what we can do. Okay, Igwe. Huh? Okay. And doctor, you have not said anything. Are we safe? Igwe. I greet you. She's fine. Her life is not in danger. We are not talking about her life here. We're talking about her eyes. I don't understand. Doctor, we are talking about my daughter's eye, yeah. not her life, please. Unfortunately, Igwe, as a medical practitioner, that eye is damaged. I also invited my friend, an eye specialist, to look into the matter. And from his own observation as well, he tallied with mine. Hey! Igwe! Igwe, my only daughter's eye! Igwe! Please, 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 please come back. Please. Igwe, my please. daughter, Igwe. My daughter's eye! Stop, stop! How about Igwe? Hi! Mr. John, my daughter's eye. Please sit down. Hey, Please. sit down. Please. And you sit. Let me stay here. Let me stay here. Let me stay. Hey, doctor. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. My daughter. Igwe. My daughter's yes. eyes. However, Igwe, I will run a series of tests on her. Even after she has left the hospital, she can still be coming back for checkup. I will run a series of of test on her and uh, find out where, how, or if we can do something about it. <laughs> what kind of evil is this? What type of nonsense is this? Cain. What on it? Cain meant to flog hand and eye. If not, Eshishi. This small, small evil spirit hovering around, interfering into human affairs. Eh? I don't know. I don't know. You have to do something. If we do something, no, the doctor do something. You push will help me. Right? No, I'll, I'll, I'll go myself. I will go myself. No, I won't let you go, baby. B, 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 listen, 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 listen. <sighs> to come inside this room. To give them more power over us, they'll drag us like, like, like prisoners. So it's either we go or I go, and I want, I want myself, me alone to go, please. Baby, please. Please. Let's stay here and wait for them to come. Dear, the servant, baby, please don't go. Don't you know? You stole the eye of a beautiful maiden in this village. Doesn't that make you a thief? It was an accident. It was an accident! Oh, an accident. Tell that to Vigo when you get to the palace. Fine. Let's go. No, no. <laughs> yes, let's go. 
when the locust brings out fresh oil while in the fire, he doesn't know he is burning. Let's go. Go away. Take a look at you. You're worse than the devil. Don't you even try to lay your filthy hands on him. Did you hear me? Can't you put yourself in his shoes? You're even smiling. That's the worst of it. I feel like killing you. Like I was strangling you right now. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Did you hear me? A concubine that spent the night in the arms of a man who is a danger to every human being calls me a devil. <laughs> She left the log of wood in her eyes and tried to remove the speck of dust in my own eyes. Guards! Take him to the spot! Don't touch him! Take him to the palace! Don't touch him! Leave him alone! Don't touch him! Leave him alone! 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 Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Take him to the palace! Hold him very well! Blinded her, and he shall marry her. That is what our law says. And he better start treating her right, else you will be made to pay dearly for everything. Oh boy! Oh yeah, my God forbid! I will not marry a second wife. I'm already getting married to my fiance. Please do not force me to do this. So who will marry the one you blinded? It was an accident. Then marry her by accident. Accident leads to accident. What kind of relationship would that be? What kind of marriage will that be? What kind of question is that? Marry my wife, of course. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who is even begging you to marry my daughter? Please, Igwe. Let his own eyes be removed. An eye for an eye. That is all what I want. You spoke by thought on this issue. Mm -hmm. Why are we discussing with him as if we are negotiating with him? We are not discussing with him to tell him what he's going to do about our daughter that he blinded. We are telling him what we are going to do to him. Oh, yeah, well. If Nene is going to be married, it will be with her consent. Yes. If not, we let him go. Uh -huh. Our elders have spoken a lot about this. Yes. I don't have anything more to say on this. Well, my people, mm -hmm. this young man has offended the entire community. I have invited him here to stand face to face with the young lady he has ruined. And now I will ask her if she wants to marry him. Nene, my daughter. Sit, sit, sit. You, you, you injured already. Nene. This teacher has blinded you in one eye. And by so doing, has reduced your bright price. Now I ask you, if we force him to marry you, will you accept to live the rest of your life with him? No, you will. No. I don't want to marry him. I want my eyes back. I want my eyes the same way it was that morning before I left for school. I want my beautiful bright eyes back. I want your man. I want my eyes back. Okay. Alice, please comfort your daughter. 
God, bring him to me. Stop dragging him. He will never go scot free. He was surely paid for him. I what he did for you. He will pay daily for it. Well, it's unfortunate that she has refused to marry me. And the custom will take his curse. You can try to run or try to escape, but you have nowhere to escape to. Run to foreign lands out of this country. We have young men who are from this village who are out there. They will catch up with you pluck one of your eye off and let you go and die. But if you survive or recover, you will live with one eye. That is our tradition. Is. An eye for an eye. If you like, go to the police. Go and tell them that this is what I have said. You have no proof, no witness, nothing to show that I did say what I have said. You only have those witnesses in your heart. And then the knowledge of the fact that you know that one of your eye will be plucked off. It is a pronouncement, a decree that must be carried out to the level. We will spread the word out there that you are carrying a mark of punishment. That is the way our ancestors have designed it, and that is what makes us a great people. Even the Americans, they do the same thing. If you kill someone, you are killed in return. If any of their citizens is kidnapped, they go out and rescue the person. And we, too, in this kingdom, will fight for our own. Igwe, please, I will do anything. I will give anything. I will sell land, property, whatever it takes. I will give up my salary for two years. Please, sir. Igwe, Your Majesty, please, please let me find a way to appease for this mistake. Allow me to go back to my village safely. Please, I will do anything it takes, Igwe. Young man, be prepared to face the consequence of your actions. Okay, what if she agrees to marry me? She will not marry you. Ah. Okay, what if I'm able to convince her? If she agrees, to marry you, that saves your eyes being plucked off. Because if I make any pronouncement, the young boys in this kingdom will come after you and they will carry out the punishment to the letter. You can leave. Um, which of our eyes was it you blinded? It was the right eye, sir. Right eyes. Ah. Eyes of retrition. The eyes of the spirit. The eyes of peripheral vision. The right eyes are important. Even if the spirit were to appear to you in the dream, they will come through the right eye. Do you know that? No, sir, I didn't know, sir. You know nothing. That is why you can afford to flog women. You have no knowledge that most guests you see out there are not what they seem. Some are in this world with company, spirit companies. Some will bless you and some will make life miserable for you. Um, that's your girlfriend, Vera. Does she have good luck?
I don't know, sir. After living with a woman for a while, check the things happening to you. Are they good things or bad things? And if they are bad things, then you change the woman. You see, we all come to this world with spirit company. Some will agree and some will not agree. But if the man's spirit and the woman's spirit agree to stay together, they will live very well. But if they disagree, there will be chaos in the family. They will have problems. Serious problem. Now go to your love. And I will wait your eyes to be blocked off. <sighs> go. Thank you, Igwe. Baby! Oh, oh, oh my God! Thank God you're out. Baby, I was so worried. Eh? How did he go? It didn't go well. Hey, I was so worried when they dragged you in there. Everybody came out. I was saying that if I wait for some minutes and I don't see you, I will go to the police and make a report. Police? Yes. You think these people care about police? They will do what they want to do after the police leaves. You don't know these people. So, so, baby, how did he go? Tell me. What did he say to you? What did he say to you? You still haven't told me what the Igwe said to you in private. Speak to me. Why are you silent? Just, just speak to me. said that I must marry her. What? That, that's impossible. I did not aware that you have a wife already. Why would they say you should marry her? You won't do that, right? If I don't marry her, they're going to pluck out my eyes. He's going to send the boys to hunt me down wherever I go and exact the punishment. That's impossible. Then let's go to the police. Police? Yes, the Igwe is not the governor of the state. Yes, this country has a law. Let's go to the police and make a statement. V, you think police can save me from this? Of course. They should take you to court. That way we will resolve all these things. So are you saying that you want to marry her? You want to marry her? Is that what you're saying? You don't know what I've gotten myself into. You don't. Baby, no. You will not marry her. I will not be alive. I want you to do that. Let's leave this not a second village. We'll leave this village for good. What nonsense. I thought you would jump on the decision to marry him. Hmm? Imagine my surprise when you said no. I didn't see love in his eyes. It was empty. Empty of love and affection. Um, what about pity? Did you see pity in his eyes? I don't want pity. I want love. Oh, Bonene, sometimes people end up marrying who they pity. Yeah, or even pity who they love. So what are you saying? You want me to pity him? You want me to marry him even when I know he does not love me? You want me to pity him because of what the villagers are going to do to him? 
Nene, maybe this is God working out things for you too. When you two start living together, he's going to understand the sweetheart that you are. And then, the love comes in. He's never going to love me. He has eyes only for Vera. Vera? I don't think he loves her. That, 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 I, I think he sees her as, um, what's that word? Um, convenient. He doesn't love her. What is love? Love is butterflies in your stomach. No. Pain. Love is pain. No. Love is one heart beating in two bodies. I read it somewhere. Love means different things to different people. What is love to you? A <laughs> boy that will buy me buff buff. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Not just my waffle. He also buy me bones, cake, and plenty ice cream. He also kiss me on the neck hey. while I'm going home from him, and smile at me while I'm working with my mother in the farm. Mm -hmm. And my mother is not watching. <laughs> and get you pregnant and out of school. Be careful. Whatever, like I care. Mm -hmm. So, back to us all. I don't want to marry him. So you allow him lose one of his eyes? Well, I just hope he's smart enough to leave the village. Hmm. To leave where? This village that we are in. You don't know Igwe then. He cannot escape anywhere. Igwe uses Juju. You will now send that his um, Alossi. Alossi to locate him. Better still, he will end up dead. And I know you don't want him dead. Vero? Vera! Veronica! I'm calling you. Are you, so, are you stupid? How dare you touch me? And who is your baby? Who is your baby? So you're not even happy I'm even touching you? Eh? You're not even happy? See, Abraham, I am warning you. I am warning you, be guided. Did you hear me? You're warning me and you're telling me to be guided. Well, I came to tell you that you go super us other's death. And I'm on my way. <laughs> it is you that will die. Did you hear me? It is you and your entire generation that will die. My boo will never die. Did you hear me? Did you say book? <gasps> I don't say book. Who cannot die? You see it? Nenugi. It's in Pataka. It's a bully boy. That is what you are. What do you know? No. Omo ni hema. Your head. Obu leke. Eh? Isi kumkum. I said boo and not book. That is what I said. You don't even know the meaning of boo. Do you know the meaning of boo? B O O. Boo? That is what I said. After all, who will marry you? Who will even marry a man like you? Nobody. You said no one will love me. Of course. Or no one will marry me. Yes. But you will be the first to marry me. <laughs> After other dies. In your dreams. It is you and your entire generation that will die. You will die hundred and one times. Did you hear me? Also, will never die. My boy will never die. Did you hear me? And if you dare come close to me again, I will give you death to slap. Inuria. You go pronounce his death tomorrow. They will take him to the bush. If he's being caught, and plug out his eyes, and he'll bleed to death, or he'll catch infections and die. It is you. It is you. It Young woman, are you not the youth copper sent to this village to work at the community health center? Yes, 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 Igwe, it's me. Okay, and I was told that you'd be insisting on seeing me yeah. while I've been in the meeting with the elders. 
So what complaint brought you? Um, you and Jones, excuse us. Someone just broke her hands. Mercy, have mercy on Ozemena. He's a good man, and he meant well for the children of this community. Whatever happened with Nene, it was just an, an accident, which he regrets so so much. Please, Igwe, I beg you, save his eyes. He's a good man, please. Igwe. I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything, anything to take for you to save my man's life and his eyes. Please, I beg you. Anything like what? Um, anything. I can do anything to get you on our side. Yes, Igwe, I can. Young lady, what can you offer? What can you offer me? What can you offer the gods? A cow? Ten cows? Fifty sheep? What can you offer the innocent girl? Her mother, in whose child's eyes, was blinded. What courage? What effrontery? What courage? What nonsense? Even though I am a widow, I am still the king. Yes, sir. Mm. Everything here is 1,200 naira. Ah, Auntie V. Hi, Uche. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Give me two good morning okay. malt and some cubes of seasoning. Okay. But won't you, be, uh, won't you be needing spaghetti today? You know the ones I got the last time? I still have some more. Okay. Oh, just give me two. Two? <laughs> yeah. So I will take onion. Come, young man. Okay. Come, Mr. Man. Hey, my friend. Is there something wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Is this how you behave? What kind of indiscipline is this? I might not hear before this woman came here. It's not customer by customer, turn by turn. Sorry, sir. Are, are you ready to pay now? What do you mean, am I ready to pay now? You see, I'm still here and you're asking me. Are you not supposed to ask me that question <laughs> first? I thought you were done shopping. I'm not done shopping. If I was done, I wouldn't be here. Don't be rude. Are, are you ready to pay now? And that's the problem. I can't even find the wallet I had with me this morning. On my way here, I had money with me. I had a few change. I can't, I don't even know where I kept them. Please hold on to this. Let me go back home and get some change. I'm sorry for the. Uh, no, no, don't worry. Um, give him back his items. I'll pay for it. How okay. much is it? It's 1,200 naira. I'll pay. Just no, add this to no, my bill. No, 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 please. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I will go home and bring money for, for this. It's, it's all right. I'll take care of it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll pay for you. Okay? Give it back his items. So add this onion. Okay. So everything is how much now? Everything here is 2,200 naira. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much for saving me from this embarrassment. I, uh, my name is okay. Teacher Ozoimena. I am a secondary school teacher at the community secondary school, not far from here. Um, I'm sorry for raising my voice at you. It's just that sometimes dealing with these students can drive you bonkers. I'm sorry. I understand. My name is Vera. Um, I'm here for my one year compulsory with service. Oh, that's impressive. Yes, I work at the health center. Oh, lovely. Very focused and disciplined. <laughs> just the way I like it. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you for coming to my rescue today. <laughs> it's all right, you know. Maybe one of these days, when I forget my money in one of my clothes, maybe I'm in a rush to, you know, come out. You'll come to my rescue, so it's one of those things. Be rest assured, if that ever happens, I'll be there to support. Okay? <laughs> it's all right. And I'm going to make sure that you're well taken care of. You see, I'm not usually this careless. It's the... <sighs> it's the students of this community. They're very stubborn. Very stubborn. It's so hard to get them to conform to discipline. Every single time, I try to make them to... 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 to, to do their homeworks, to come to school early. They're driving me crazy. So I... Uh, I'm sorry about the incident today. <laughs> it's all right. I can see you're very passionate about your work. Yes, I'm passionate about seeing students that I teach succeed. That is the only reason why I became a teacher, so I can nurture. It will make me happy to see them succeed. Hmm. That's very good. All the best. <laughs> But Thank just you. be careful, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess this is where we part ways. My house is down the road. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Teacher Ozo. <laughs> Your wallet. You found it? Yes. I picked it on my way to the store. So when I opened it and I saw your ID, I knew it was yours. The time you were busy searching your pockets, I was just enjoying it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's all right. I was a very clever one. <laughs> that means my pockets must have been shallow. Yeah. You know, this morning I was running and I was chasing some of the students away from Mazu Day's compound. Oh. They were stealing from him the oranges in his compound. It's a source of livelihood, and he has been complaining that they are robbing him of his source of livelihood. He sells them in the market, and that's how he makes his money. <laughs> you know, some of these students are notorious for indiscipline. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all right. But you know what? You just have to be very, very careful. Hmm? You know you're a visitor in this community. I know, I know. But I know that when I leave, they will not forget me. I just want hmm. them to succeed and to be happy in life. And I know that one day they will remember me and they will thank me for this. I hope so. <laughs> but just know that only you cannot change everyone. You're just one person. So just can, be careful. I can try. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.
Yes. Today you made me an offer to save the eyes of your boyfriend. Yes, yes. That is why I'm here. Decide as many times as I want. Talk, Dr. Nod. Yes, yes, wait. I said it. And wait for me. This is my son, Iweka. He was born like this. But I love him so much. Nobody agreed to marry him. So as you can see, he is not yet a man in that sense. I will leave the two of you now. And bring him back to the palace before the village arrives. Bring him to me. As a man, I want my son to be a man. He will know, you, but, but I, I asked for you and not him. Why do you think I will accept your offer? Because you think I'm a widower? And you think I need attention? Do you know how many of our ladies are widows? who throw themselves at me just for attention and affection? Do you know? If you refuse to go with my son, your boyfriend will face the consequences as required by tradition. But if you do, I will make Nene to marry him. And his only punishment will be he has to live with a woman he has no affection with while you still enjoy your relationship and love the thing. But Igwe, how do you expect me to live with him, having this in mind? How? Please. I know you're a father. Have mercy, I beg you, Igwe. My listen, you wanted me. He is my son. See him as me and enjoy him. He understands nothing. He knows nothing. Teach him. Take away his innocence and make him a man. What? Iwe, does he want this? I see the way he looks at women. He has feelings. Go close to him and see what he does. Come on. Go close.
Look at you. <laughs> you are a man now. <laughs> Shall we talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? Tell me everything. My wife. No, no, no. Come on, son. She is not your wife. She is there to teach you everything you need to know. Hmm? Take away that smile from your face and act like a man that you are. You are a real man now. Hmm? When do you want to go back there? No. Come on, there's no job. <laughs> it's no food. Huh? I can see that you need some rest. Did you take any rest at all? No break? <laughs> Don't worry. You will have some more. <laughs> He's so happy. V, are you almost done? Yes, I'm almost done. Um, I'm just having issues with scrubbing my back. You know I've not been myself lately. I would have come there to help you. I'm just not in that type of mood right now. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. V, what is hi? Is it me you're telling hi? V, I need love. I need TLC. I need a hug. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what type of trouble I've dabbled into. I don't know what situation I've put us in, in, into. And you're telling me hi. V. V. Is your love for me dying? Is it because of this stress I am bringing upon us? Talk to me. to worry. I know that everything will be fine. Yes. Very, very soon we'll be out of this. I'm sorry.
be. It is not tiredness I see in your eyes, V. I I, I see something else. What? Guilt? Guilt? Why would you feel guilty? You haven't brought any calamity upon us. Yes. Um, I, I, I feel you're, you're blaming me. Yes. I, I should have, you know, spoken to you not to use your cane on, on, on those students. You know. Be. It's not only a man that protects his woman. A woman protects a man. Mm -hmm. I should have done that. I know you're blaming me, right? B. You're just worried, sick about me. And I appreciate that. I will never let you down. And I Anyhow, it ends, even if it takes my life. I'll be happy that I lived this life tasting a love like this, a perfect love, a love without flaw. So it's okay. Come on. They sent you to pluck out my eyes. Is that why you're standing in front of me? I... I... You what? I've come to save your eyes. I hope I don't get into trouble. The last time I tried to save you, I got into trouble. You have me confused. I don't understand. Abraham and his friends, they were planning to drag you into the bush and beat you up for flogging him. I overheard them. That was why I went to confront them. But then you, you saw us and started flogging me. I was fighting for you. I was fighting for you because I was fighting for you because Because of what? Speak up! What part of this contraption of lies do you want me to believe in? Who sent you? Was it your mother? I wonder why or was it Abraham, the boys? Or is it Igwe's people who are somewhere hiding out, waiting to pounce on me? Wait, they sent you here to delay me so they can gain more grounds and get closer to attack me? Answer me. I will marry you. I will marry you. Several times I have. I have always wanted to tell you that I love you. 
have always had a crush on you. But you were busy walking around town with Vera. And I know you will never see me. They say, if I marry you, I'll be saving your life. And I want to save your life. Even though you've taken half of mine by leaving me with one eye. But that's what people do when they're in love. They make sacrifices. They take the blame. They say nothing. They endure. She told me. Why should I? I owe her nothing. You owe her nothing, but she's my woman. Okay? I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose my eye, also. And I need to respect her proposition. So you tell her what you told me. Baby, she has agreed to the marriage proposal. But it's fake. For now. Just so she can save me. If you refuse to go with my son, your boyfriend will face the consequences as required by tradition. But if you do, I will make Nene to marry him. And his only punishment will be he has to live with a woman he has no affection with. Come on, baby. It's only a ploy. It's not real. And it's with him. This is what you've always wanted, man. Why is she doing this? Why did she change her mind all of a sudden? Why? Why does she want to save you? Tell me. What's her reason? Just like you, I love him, but you have the upper hand, so there is nothing I can do. <laughs> I see. Uh. Tell me, the Igwe made you do this, right? He spoke to you. He pushed you to do this. I haven't spoken or seen the Igwe. He hasn't sent word to us ever since the last time I went to the palace. Yes, I'm sure Diwe is busy planning on how to punish Tisho Zemena for what he did. Vera, what is it? This is... Vera. Vera. No! It's okay. 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 It's okay.
We are here. I will wait outside. Excuse me, Iwe. This is not happening. Not anymore. If you change your mind, you know what will happen to your man. <laughs> News flash. Now, listen to me. Nene was here earlier today. Yes, I heard that with my two ears. She said she has agreed to marry Ozo. And do you know the funniest part of it? Nobody forced her. I knew you did not do anything. Yes, she would have married Ozo whether I did this or not. Ah, I was too fast. I'm just a fool. I was just wasting my body with your son right here. If this is a lie. Hmm, Igwe. You are the Igwe, so find out. Anyway, um, my son is here. One more time would not be too much to ask. I have every intention to help you. Oh, really? So you call this help? You call this help as a father? You open your mouth and say that you wanted to help me? Oh, it's all my fault. All my fault because I didn't want to marry a one-eyed man. Yes, I wanted to present a man that is so handsome to my friends and my family. And this got me into this mess. It got me into this mess. I'm so shameless. Also doesn't even know this about me. Yes, I'm so regretting everything I just did. I should have, you know, stood with my man. It shows that I never really loved him. I should have stood with him whether he had one eye or not. But no, I was just so fast because I didn't want to marry a one-eyed man. Igwe, if you don't leave here with your son, I will scream. Yes. And what do I have to lose? Nothing. Nothing. If nobody knows about this, I will live with the guilt for the rest of my life. I'm so shameless. I regret this. See, eh? If you come close to me, I will use this. She had me, but even try it. Practically, a life of a prince in his kingdom is treasonable. I could have you punished. Let's go. Let us go. You see, due to the unfavorable circumstances surrounding this entire matter of marriage or no marriage to the school teacher, I would advise that you reconsider your argument to marry him and allow justice to take his cause. Let him lose one of his eyes and get equal recompense and measures for what he has done. Igwe, I cannot possibly let him endure such punishment. Even though he has made me to endure pain in my body and in my heart. For I truly love him. Yeah. <laughs> love is for silly guys. In this case, I judge you more silly. Because you love who does not love you. Now. Go and tell him you have changed your mind that you will not marry him. Go, go now. No, Iwe. 
I cannot. Are you arguing with me? Igwe, for this love, my eye was blinded. What then is my gain? If I go blind and he goes blind, where is my joy? Where is my victory? Get out. Agree. Get out. No bride price was paid or demanded. No traditional marriage rites was performed. You just came to me, free. This kind of marriage is, does not require such procedures because there is no time for those. But we expected to do them within 12 months. What about you? Nothing. We live together. You get to keep your eyes because I've saved them. But you have to tell it with me. And what next? I'll start school in a different school next academic section. You can't be my teacher and my husband at the same time, can you? Can you see? Put your things down. For a long time, I always loved you. Fantasized and idolized you. To do to get you to look at me. Love, oh love, baby, oh, 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 So what you refuse to give to me, you are giving it to Iweka, the Igwe son in secret. What nonsense are you speaking? So tell me, of all the girls, 
the ladies and even the women in this community. It is you who we can choose to call my wife. My wife. You know how years in this village. And people in the palace are saying, Digwe son is happy these days. He's talking and even describing his wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. Yeah, my wife. You're a fool. A big fool at that. No, leave this place. I said leave. Okay. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? Um, also, please leave. I'm not. I'm not in the mood to receive visitors. Vera, I need us to talk. Please. There is nothing for us to talk about. Yes, just go away. Leave me. Vera, you can't keep shutting me out. You can't. Everything that has happened, none of it was my fault. Please. Father, please leave. Please, just go. Leave me alone. Go to your house. Leave me. Papumaka, leave me. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Don't get worked up. I will leave. I just came to tell you that everything that has happened was out of my control. I couldn't help any of it. And I'm sorry. Just stay away from me. Stay away from me. What is it? What is wrong? Everything is wrong. <sighs> what happened today? Vera does not want to see me. She does not want to see me again. Obviously, she has found out that you are, you are with me. That you moved in with me. All because of what you did. Walk, walk away. Everybody walks away from me once I am sad. Everybody. That doesn't make you any different. I am not walking away from you. I am walking into your house. Where does Vera want to live? Pain is supposed to bring two lovers together. Not tear them apart. If the love is real. If the love is real. If the love is real. For a long time, I always loved you Fantasized and idolized you Tell me what to do to get you to look at me Love, oh love, eh, bugamo, oh bugamo Oh, I'd do anything for love 
On you Baby. never again. Baby, come on. You know that's not possible. You of all people know this. After she agreed to marry me. Please. To hell with you and your marriage. To hell with you and your problems. Vera. Yes, I don't ever want to be part of it. Leave me alone. Shh. Shh. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you trying to say? Everything we have is... You, you can't do that now. This is not my fault. This is an accident. It will pass, please. Yeah, right? Now listen to me. Leave me alone. You see, whatever we shared, whatever we had, it's over! Over! Vera! Vera! Vera, st Get out of my bed! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go and stand over there. I don't even know why I allowed you to stay on this bed. Talk more of sleeping on this bed. Do you know what you have cost me? Do you know what you have cost me? I don't want to ever see you on this bed again. From now on, this is your spot. I don't want to ever see you on this bed. Take. Take all your things. If I ever see you on this bed again, I'm going to deal with you. You have no place in this house. Do you understand me? Do you know what you have cost me? What was your hand doing on your face? What was your hand doing on your face? What was your hand doing on your face? Were you sent from the pit of hell? From the pit of hell? To ruin me? What were you doing? Why do you have to do this to me? Is it wrong to help you? What do you think you're doing? You think food is going to solve this problem? You think you're, you're going to deceive me with this nonsense? With this cheap nonsense? I don't want you to starve. Eat your breakfast. Even anger requires energy. Eat so you won't be late for work. your food. When I'm talking to you next time, you listen to me. You listen to me. Stupid girl. For a long time, I always loved you. And idolized you. Tell me what to do to get you to look at me. Love, oh love, eh, bugamo, oh bugamo. Oh, I do anything for love. Oh, I do anything for love. Oh, 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 oh,
My wife. Your wife. Mm. Do you have a wife? Mm. Oh, I see. Come, come, let's talk about your imaginary wife. Come. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Hmm? <laughs> We'll talk about your wife. <laughs> Let me pay you. I'm sorry, Iwe. I am not for sale. Moreover, your son is just a child. He is a man. You made him such. How can you call him a child? His mind is the mind of a child. I can't see myself taking advantage of him. His innocence. No. He desires it so. He's of age. Fine. Get him another woman. Vera! Vera! Vera, please, can we talk? Please, I can't sleep. I need to talk to you. What do you want? Just go, leave me alone. You, you're tormenting me. Vera, I am more tormented. I am more tormented than you. I can't sleep, I can't do anything, I'm restless. Please, just open the door and let us talk. Please. Vera. Vera, please. Vera, let's just sleep together. Let's spend the night together like old time's sake, please. We, 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 can, we, can, we can talk about everything. We can come up with a winning plan. We can still win this. Win what? Everything that's happening to us. We've already lost it. So there is nothing. Just go, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Farah, why are you talking like this? Farah, please, just give me a chance to talk to you, please. See, Ozon, if you don't leave my house this minute, I will stab myself and then I will scream for everybody to come. I will tell them, you tried to kill me. Just go, leave me alone. Stay away from me. Just stay away from me. Shina, you be this. Why are you talking like this? Just go. Just leave me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hey, my dear, thank you very much. Yeah. Come and sit down. Please sit. Yes, mm -hmm. I hope he's taking care of you very well. I mean, treating you very, very well. No. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Oh, go, Adam Kibu. Are you very sure he's treating you well? Yes. Hmm. But he still doesn't talk to me. With time. Remember all your words to him that day. I'm sure he's still hurting. 
Don't worry. He's going to come around. I don't even care. I don't care at all. The only thing that I want to know and be sure is that he's taking care of you. Obucha, the name may change here or be a no longer case and one. Oh, one look at that game. So you need to get it. Oh, Waka, oh, one of the gang as in take care of you very well. He should know that I don't joke with my only daughter. Oh, from Uranya, oh, from Uranya, my only child. I don't joke with her. Mama, everything is fine. You are sure? He is. He's actually a nice man. Nice man? Onyenka, nice man. And he did this to you? <laughs> Mama, he is. If you get close to him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> get close to him. Do you know he's a nice man? Nne, that is not my problem. My problem is for him to get ready to come and pay your bride and marry you the way a princess should be married. Ogugwa. Omi hanka. I don't have any problem with him. Akwe nania. Who gave you the permission to give my food and my juice to your mother? I didn't think I needed any permission. You didn't think you needed permission. You didn't think you needed permission. Nene, do you own anything in this house? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you! Do you work? Do you have a salary? You didn't think you needed permission to give my food to someone else. Everything here is mine, Ozoe Mena's house. Stop shouting. Why would I shout? No, why won't I shout? You, you think you are comfortable to do whatever because I left you in this house? All I ever did was love you. Did I ask for your love? Did I force you to love me? Did I ask for it? Am I? You cannot force me to love you. Do you understand that? I didn't say that. Don't try this nonsense again. Nene, do not try this nonsense again. If you try this nonsense, I'm going to flog you. In fact, why are you doing this to yourself? What are you doing here? I can't even chase you out of my life. You have no place in my life. Because if I move you out of this house, they're going to pluck one of my eyes out. So I have to deal with your presence. Don't try this nonsense again. Why are you so mean to me? I know you do not love me. I don't know why this is happening. Or how long it will last. But all I'm asking is for you to be kind to me. Be gentle with your words. Be careful what you say to me. They say tomorrow is pregnant. And no one knows the child it will bear. Be quiet. What are you mean to me? You're very mean. I lied to my mother that you're kind. But you're very mean to me. Nana, will you just shut up? You don't know what I am going through. You have no clue what I am going through, Nene. If you don't want to sleep, just get, you know what, get out. 
Get out. Get out. Will you get out of my house? Won't you? <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, what is this, a gang of? Why would you throw her out in the middle of the night? Do you want white animals to get her? How inhuman can you be? Oh yes, I'm very worried for her. Especially now that she's in the midst of you animals. Hmm? Teacher Ozo, with all due respect, you are worse than an animal. Hmm? You're very wicked. Me? Yes, you. What are you going to do? When you beat and blind my eyes, you cannot do anything. I'm not scared of you. What is it? Wicked teacher, this young lady here married you just to save you. This is how you repay her. What kind of what kind of nonsense is this? Is this how you want to repay her? And who brought me into the mess that she's trying to save me from in the first place? Did I ask for any of this nonsense? Huh? Did I? She's the reason why I lost my my love, Vera. Your love, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> They did not. They did not tell him. No, he wasn't informed. He did not hear. I'm okay. Because he's deaf and foolish and even blind. Okay, please don't insult him. What are you rambling about here? Is he asking us? Go and ask your love, Vera. Wicked teacher. Don't be our friend again. Or don't try it, sir. With all due respect. Don't, don't try this thing next time, oh. If not, mm -hmm. if you touch my friend again, mm -hmm. you see this thing you know, in her eye, I'll put it on your eye. I'm telling you. We won't break your legs. Don't try it, oh. We are very, very strong. It's okay, okay. It's not okay. See your eye, eh? Are you even talking? <laughs> Iweka, I am warning you. Stay away from me. Stop calling me your wife. Did you hear me? <laughs> If I slap you, eh? You know yourself. Are you mad? Get out of here. Get out of here. What you've been doing? Huh? Well, I decided to bring him because since he got together with you, nobody has rested in the palace. Always my wife, oh. My wife, oh. Ah, ah. So I personally brought him to spend 
little time with his wife. Why are you flogging in public the one you accepted in secret? What's he saying? What is he saying, Vera? Go on. Tell him. Please. I just want to be left alone. All of you should just leave. Leave me alone. Leave me. Listen, she owes you a lot of explanations. Go on, ask her. Demand it. Request it. If she lies to you, come and ask me. I know everything. Eh? The boy told me everything. You wait, come and sit down. Come and sit down. If he lies against you, you will counter it. Sit down here. Sit down. We're not living here today. Vera, is this true? Is it, is it true what that man said about you and Iweka? Vera, tell me the truth, please. You, you, you want to hear the truth, right? Fine, I will tell you the truth. Yes. You, you, you know what happened? I was so scared. I didn't want you to lose your eyes. So I, I, I went to the Ibu's palace. I went to plead with him to please spare your eyes. I couldn't see myself getting married to a one-eyed man. No. So I pleaded with the, the Igwe that I was ready to do anything. Anything to, to make you, to be safe. And the Igwe asked me if I was ready to do anything. And I said yes. That was when I told the Igwe I'm ready to offer myself to him. What are you saying? What do you mean by what you're saying? Are you trying to tell me that you... you... Stop it, also. You put us in this mess. Yes, your love for Kate. Put us in this mess and you're here to tell me what? Don't even say a word. I am ready to talk, so allow me to speak. Let me speak. <laughs> So, so, so the Igwe asked me if I was sure about what I told him, and I said yes, and I was ready to do anything. And he said okay. So, so, so that if I, so that if, if I do it, everything will be fine. And that that fateful night, that fateful night. He, he, he came to the house. I thought he was ready to do it. But, but he came with his son. He said uh -huh. his son's mental challenge has made it impossible for, for any maiden, you know, to, to allow his, you know, to get married to his son. Uh -huh. so, so the Igwe, the Igwe asked me to make his son feel like, feel like a man, that if I do it, he's going to force Nene to, to agree to marry you. And then, and then, I, and then I allowed, I allowed the Igwe son to have his way. The Igwe son had his way. And, 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 and this is then, that boy doesn't want to let me be. He has been on my neck. For me to wake up the next morning to see you and Nene in my house saying that Nene has accepted to marry you. I, I knew, I knew that was not the Igwe sneaking. I knew that was God at work. That was when I felt so bad. Because I knew my sacrifice was a foolish one. Oh. I felt so bad. I couldn't even apologize to you. Because I know what I've done is beyond pardon. Oh. <laughs> that was why I asked you to stay away from me. Oh. And I had told me the relationship because I couldn't see myself. <laughs> Looking at your eyes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
this must be a dream. <laughs> no, this is a subconscious dream. I'm going to wake up from this. I'm going to wake up from this. <laughs> ah! Vera! <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, God. Ah, Vera. You sold me out. No. Vera, you sold me out. No. Vera, you did this to me. No. Vera, you did this to me. You said this, that you, you're doing this for your own selfish interest. No, no, because no. you don't want to get married to a man with one eye. It's not true. Vera, you did this to me. I did it for us. Shut up! I did it for Stop us. Stop lying and get out from my front. I, I did it you, for us. You did this for yourself. Stop lying. No. Stop lying, Vera. I did it this for us. This is all your fault. <laughs> Just, I did him up! Just get out from my front! You get out from my front! No! Don't leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Take it! Just end it! I'm tired of running away from you! I'm tired of living this life. Just kill me. Just end it. Bring everything, bring like 10 or 12. Just bring everything you have. Bring everything, please. Just bring everything. Help yourself with this while I get the rest. Bring the beer. I want to drink and forget my sorrows. I want to leave this place and go home and sleep till tomorrow. Just give me beer. No, give Take me alcohol. While I get the rest. If you have spirit, give me spirit. Everything, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, Madam Joy, give me beer now. Give me beer. My, my table is... Help yourself, uh -huh. please. Wait, two. Wait, two. One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. Hey. It's not on my own again. Hey. Hey. 
<laughs> Just one more step. Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Why? Why are you? What's up? Where are Mary Uek? Where are Mary Uek? I marry the Chiaqua. I marry Nene. You're drunk. Nene, are you the one helping me? Yes, I am. Who gave you alcohol? <laughs> Joy. Madam Joy? Joy. Joy, Joy. I drink beer with palm wine. With more beer with more palm wine. <laughs> I, need to, I need to go to um, Please, guys, please come on here. Wait, wait, now. wait, 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 wait. Just wait. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not drunk. Uh -huh. Alice is good. He now knows what go. every other person knows. I know. I know. I know. I know. Vera. Mary Weka. <sighs> ah. Can't you see he's not ah. himself? Yeah, eh? ah, allow him I flogged Nene. Igwe. Igwe. <laughs> I flogged Nene. Eh? Vera flogged me. Igwe flogged Vera. Eh? Igweka. Vera Mary. <laughs> he's not himself. Let's take him in. He needs fresh. I don't have strength. Why are you ah. taking him inside? He needs fresh air. Allow him to sit there so you get the fresh air. Nene, Nene, I'm sorry. I know you are sorry. sorry. I know I've forgiven you. Uh, I'm sorry. Chimo, um, please. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive, me. Ah. forgive me. Forgive me. I've forgiven you. Forgive me. Hey, hey. Forgive me. Allow him to pull off there. He'll be fine. He will pull off. Let the air. Uh, uh, now. Let the air come off. Uh, uh. Vera! <laughs> Vera! Vera! Vera. Nene! You stop screaming. Nene! 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 <laughs> Enjoy that game. Mm. Because you were cheating. I Don't mind cheat. her. Uh -uh. You did. I did not. <laughs> See, I think I have to go back. I have to go back? Yes. Uh, see us up more now. He, he's sleeping and you don't even know when he'll wake up. No one knows when he'll wake up. And I don't want him to wake and he starts looking for me. You know, he's been through a lot this past few days. <laughs> Nene, you love this guy a lot. I mean, look at you. You have also been through a lot. But you're placing him above yourself. Is that nice? Love is that feeling that you cannot help. Even when the person you're loving does not deserve it. But I'm happy. I'm happy to love him. That is no healthy. Sometimes, the one you love needs to see enough love from you before they can love you back. Nene, sometimes it works that way. Sometimes it doesn't. Eh? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Look, what if this man doesn't see the angel that you are? What if he doesn't get to love you? Then, I'll leave him. I'll say that I divorced him so that they don't pluck out his eyes. They will know he married me according to the tradition, but I decided to leave. Okay, that's cool. As long as you know when to, to, to move out of this old thing. Eh? You seem happier. That's what matters to us as your friend, that you're happy. It's fine. Let me start going, okay? Hog. <laughs> Take care of you. Come. Take care of yourself. Oh, bye. 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 I will love you. I will love you. I owe
fantasize and idolize you. Tell me what to do to get you to look at me. Three hearts, three people. Each one got hurt. But one decided to leave. What should the other two do next? Maybe the other two can open up their hearts to see if there is love between them. Yes, um, I invited you to give you a standing order to leave this village with immediate effect. My son cannot continue to see you. You're making him mad and mad. You cannot stay anymore except you're ready to get married to him. My ancestors forbid that. I will never, did you hear me? I will never do that. And for your information, I am not done with my NYSC. I still have two months more left. Well, um, I will instruct the community health workers to write you a letter releasing you. Sometimes, the wrong things we make in life in an attempt to hurry it or push it. You cannot hurry fate. And that is exactly what you have done. Well, to my son advantage anyway. You're a very mean person. I should have known I was dealing with a mean man, a man without a conscience. How could you say all those things to me? Why? 
I did what I did because I was protecting my man and my emotions. Can a wrong right a wrong? Selling yourself to save him, was that right? Sir, that is debatable. You sold yourself to satisfy your ego. You said it yourself. You said you could not bear the idea of marrying one-eyed man. So, you did not do it for him. You did it for Vera, not also. No. What I did was a combination of two. I did what I did for my man, the love of my life. I did what I did for my emotions, my feelings. Yeah, you will need money. Take it. Thank you. I am paying you as one. Paying a person who has worked. You worked for my son. So I'm paying you for it. Mm. Since I was not the one who convinced Nene to marry Ozo, it is right that I pay you for it. I would have returned this money because of what you just said. But what is it going to change? Nothing. Will it change people's perception about me? No. Or will it change the way they look at me or see me? Mm -hmm. So I will keep the money. If there's one thing I can never take away from you, is that you are a brave woman. And I will advise that in future, act with more discernment and wisdom. You can go. You know, there is nothing that happened in this village. I do not know. Where are they living? I got the information that you are living today. But mind you, nobody will marry you. But I can still manage you. So that we have kids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me, Abraham, father of all nations, can still marry a spoiled product like you. If only. You are set to marry me. Ew. Hold on, wait. By the way, wait, Ozo. Right here. Now get out of here now. Get out. We want me to stop you again. Get out. So it is true. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Just know that I will always love you. You don't know what love is. You don't. Yeah. You're right. Uh, I... I wish you all the best. The very best.
For a long time, I always loved you. Fantasized and idolized you. Tell me what to do to get you to look at me. Nene, my darling, how are you? Did you go to the to the doctor? Yes, I did. What did they say? What is it? Tell me. He said that I'm pregnant. Hey! You are what? You're pregnant, Nene? Yes. I knew it. I knew it. But I said, let me hold myself. Oh, Nene! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, 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 Nene, 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 Nene. I will love this child. I will love this child of mine. And I'll love you too. I've always wanted a child. Oh, my God. Oh, Nene. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Woo! Size and idolized you. 